Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on March 9th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving away space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well looking at world weather. Starting out here looking at the sun, 304 angstroms. You can see quite a bit of activity even on this imagery here. Big fiery cresting region, top left side. Plasma filament getting ready to eject from the bottom left. Looking at the last 24 hours, 48 hours incoming. Little earth to scale to show there. Pretty active sunspot region incoming. And as well, that large plasma filament on the left side looks like it's about to rip away. On the left-hand side, you'll notice another CME shooting out, out of the same region right there, as well a small B-class solar flare on the right-hand side. And this is all outgoing imagery. Another quick look at the active regions here, cresting, and as well that huge plasma filament in the southern hemisphere right now, connected to the coronal hole small and diminished at that. Looking at multi-spectrum here at all of the events, you can see that large plasma whip bottom left-hand side as well, pretty active northeast region on our sun. 171 angstroms, not showing any earth-facing coronal holes. Looks like there is one developing equatorial region there, but nothing serious. So no new CMEs to talk about heading our way, except for the last one, and it may give us a glancing blow. Looking at the last two days for imagery, Lasco 2, showing all of the events from the last two days. And on the bottom left-hand side, last image there, watch for quite a bit of activity coming out of there. As I said, I think that plasma filament's about to rip away from the sun. So heads up, stay safe, stay aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Quick look at ISWA space prediction spiral. As you can see that CME shot out straight at Venus and it is sure to give us just a glancing blow up into the 13th of March. Real-time solar wind sitting at about 390 kilometers per second Highest we saw today was 499. Solar X-ray flux is in B range. Geomagnetic activity is low, very low. Schumann resonance for today, a power of nine. Definitely a little better than the last couple days as the energies were a buzzing. Amplitude of nine, quality of 6.9, power of 13. Let's get to earthquakes here. The past 24 hours, looking at about 270 earthquakes across the USGS map. Looking here at Walton 3D, sizable Galapagos Island, Triple Junction region, 5.0 earthquake through the Cocos Plate, as well as 4.6 here into Panama, 10 kilometer depth. El Salvador, 4.3 minor activity through Santo Domingo, Puerto Rico. South America seeing some activity today, 4.9 there, Peru, 4.8, Calama, Chile, and 5.1 here, West Chile Rise. As well, Scotia Plate into the South Sandwich Islands, a 5.5, and that's the largest earthquake today to report. 4.5 here in Iran, Southern Iran, 10 kilometer depth, as well a 4.8 Mid-Indian Ridge at a 10 kilometer depth. Up into China here, Qingchang, China, 4.4, 5.2 here, Hulian City, Taiwan, 32 kilometer depth, 5.1 here, Tabilo, Indonesia, 53 kilometer depth, very quiet through Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea right now, 5.0 in New Zealand, Kermadex Islands, and as well a 5.1. Carrying on here, the deepest earthquake today, 4.0 in Ayama, Japan, 349 kilometer depth, 4.5 there in Russia, 
And then look at all this activity through Alaska today. Heads up, this activity is increasing and it is expected to continue here right from Adak to the Excursion Inlet. Quiet through Hawaii. No major earthquakes to report across the United States. A couple notable earthquakes, South Carolina as well, Arkansas. But other than that, that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick look around the world for the last seven days. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, most recent volcanoes getting updated. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. A couple avalanches to report there. Warnings through Utah. Sangay in Ecuador. Fuego, Guatemala. Nevada's Duru is Colombia. Reventador in Ecuador. Marapi, Indonesia. Semeru, Indonesia. Manam, Papua New Guinea. And Desca Pizarro Grand, a newly awakened volcano in Chile. Desca Pizarro Grand is alive and well. 20 hours ago, has awakened, showing, I'm sure, some pretty big signs of activity. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today and one newly awakened volcano, South America. Looking across the world, satellite imagery, Storms continuing through South America, Brazil, into Paraguay. As well, flooding conditions continue through central and northeastern United States. Southeastern as well, big storms moving through Florida this week. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Stormy conditions now moving away from southeastern Australia. But extreme flooding and extreme weather conditions continue here through eastern Malaysia and up into Sumatra. Torrential downpours, some areas as they are experiencing monsoon rains. Tropical cyclone Gombe is still alive and well, getting ready to penetrate the African continent and then bounce back out and head south again along the west side of Madagascar. Let's get to the weather forecast here, brought to you by Venture Sky and Daily Events Worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, as we've got a roller coaster of temperatures the last couple days. But watch for colder conditions to move back in and a few flurries to follow in behind. Possibly five centimeters of snow for Friday for parts of Ontario. Alberta Clipper moving in quick through Manitoba and northern Ontario. And as well, a low coming out of southeastern United States. Gulf region. So watch for extreme weather to break out here Saturday into Sunday right across Florida. Long line of moisture here stretching right up into the Atlantic provinces. And that's what we're talking about this week. Atmospheric rivers of moisture yet again. As high pressure ridge has moved out for California, you could see some rain here in the long range forecast. But the next few days are going to be pretty wet across Washington, Oregon, British Columbia, snow falling through Alberta, and then that low pressure line of moisture will stretch southward into California. Overlooking the Atlantic, still a pretty big system affecting parts of Iceland and Greenland. Low pressure center through Turkey making its way eastward. But very strong winds are expected here the next couple days as forewarmed through the United Kingdom and Ireland and Iceland with those strong systems in the North Atlantic. Stormy conditions moving in for Saturday, parts of Italy. Daily evaporation rains for the next few days, Aust er, Africa. But watch for tropical cyclone Gombe to penetrate 
Madagascar this week, and then Mozambique, and then back out. And then, as I've said, affecting western parts of Madagascar now. Overlooking Southeast Asia, no major storms to talk about, nor Russia. But these rains are becoming very intense and heavy through equatorial regions here, Malaysia, Indonesia. Watch for those to move out with the low-pressure system just south of Jakarta. Australia, daily evaporation rains, coastal regions, low pressure center moving into northwestern parts Thursday into Friday. Overlooking Hawaii, no major weather systems heading to you. South America. Stormy conditions to continue through Argentina up into Rio de Janeiro. Heavy daily evaporation rains through northern parts. Going to leave you here looking at our northern hemisphere for all of the systems spinning around and as well our long lines of atmospheric rivers. Almost encompassing the northern hemisphere there from the Gulf to Greenland. Strange days indeed. Much love to everybody and prayers for humanity. Going to leave you here looking at the temperatures here for the next few days across the Northern Hemisphere as winter is still not over. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate you tuning in, staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Please share this with your friends and family from around the world. Again, thanks and prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world